the Dreamcatcher legend. This is the way the old Ojibwe say Spider Woman helped bring Grandfather Son back to the people. To this day, Spider Woman will build her special lodge before dawn. If you are awake at dawn, as you should be, look for her lodge and you will see how she captures the sunrise as the light sparkles on the dew which is gathered there. Spider Woman took care of her children, the people of the land, and she continues to do so to this day. Long ago, in the ancient world of the Ojibwe nation, the clans were all located in one area called Turtle Island. When the Ojibwe nation dispersed into the four corners of North America, Spider Woman had difficult times making journeys to all of those baby cradle boards. So, the mothers, sisters, and grandmothers weaved magical webs for the new babies using willow hoops and sinews. The shape of the circle represents how Grandfather Sun travels across the sky. The dream catcher filters out the bad dreams and only allows good thoughts to enter into our minds when we are asleep. A small hope in the center of the dream catcher is where the good dreams come through. With the first ray of sunlight, the bad dreams will perish. When we see little spider woman, we should not be afraid of her, but instead respect and protect her. In honor of their origin, many dream catchers have eight points where the web connects to the hoop. The eight points are for the spider woman's eight legs. Some people place a feather in the center of the dream catcher to symbolize the breath or the air. And for the baby cradle board, a baby can watch the air play with the feather and be happily entertained with the blowing of the feather. Oh.